just looking at these immense figures, they're just shocking and absolutely heartbreaking. Um, and it feels as if it doesn't doesn't expect to, to slow down in any way. And the head of Italy's civil protection service says, though, he made it very clear, we are nowhere near the peak. And he, he says they are looking at um, the trends and they're trying to uh, track the, the infection rate just to take note, 4,670 infections in, in, increased in the last 24 hours. He said that he believes that the peak could be perhaps next week or maybe even the week after. Uh, the health authorities here are making it very clear. Now, these infections and deaths that you are seeing are a result of uh, infections that happen before the lockdown place, lockdown measures were put in place. We're only at day 10 of the lockdown. And you have to give it, they say, at least two weeks to see whether there's any kind of impact at all. So essentially, we'll just have to wait and see. We are not seeing any impact from the lockdown right now. And that's why we're seeing these very, very shocking numbers. Uh, clearly also the elderly population. Going back to that issue, uh, the authorities have said that those who have succumbed to the disease uh, are generally over the age of 70. And they also often have pre-existing health conditions that make them particularly fragile and easier to succumb to COVID-19.